My name's uh, Brian Benz. I'm a cloud advocate at Microsoft, and I'm going to talk to you today about uh, logic, apps, and computer vision. So it's actually extending a little bit of Adina's uh, demo. Um, I'm going to show you how to read text. Um, the one thing I want to show you, just to get started here. So here in the US, for those of you who uh, are here, uh, other countries might have a similar service. We have this thing called informed delivery, where the US Postal Service will actually send you emails with scanned images of your mail that's going to be delivered or not delivered uh, that week sometime. Uh, so uh, the, you can sign up for that. I signed up for it. I got the emails and I said, wouldn't it be nice if I could read my text from those images and do some stats maybe or get some alerts if it's something important or you know, uh, figure out how much junk mail I'm getting and where the junk mail comes from, things like that. So uh, I put together a system basically to do that. Uh, it goes into my Outlook mail uh, and uh, this is the Azure portal. I've got, a, if anyone wants more details on this, you can go to um, aka.ms slash Cosmos mail reader and it gives you all the details of what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to go into it really briefly. Um, but basically what I've got here is my service. We start with a cognitive service, and the cognitive service reads mail. It's a pre-built model that reads a JPEG image and gives you JSON of the actual uh, document that comes out. I store that in Cosmos DB in the end. And how we actually get there is we have a logic app. The logic app connects to uh, a storage account. The storage account is where you actually put the mail images. Uh, and then in there, there's a API connection to go to the storage account. Uh, it connects to Outlook and uh, Cognitive Services Computer Vision as well. So that's basically how that works. Um, now let's get into what the mail looks like. This is basically what the mail looks like. Some of it's really nice. This one on the top is a really good example, nice and clear. Uh, they actually, some postal customers pay to have these images sent, full image and everything. So it's not actually a scan image. But then these are the scan images. If you zoom in on this, you can see uh, you know, it's kind of fuzzy. Uh, this one has some diagonal text, which is always a challenge. So uh, my point here is the quality varies in the mail that you get. Uh, but this is basically what the images look like, the JPEG, when you get it from the mail. Um, so what I did is I actually built a cognitive service. Let me zoom out on that a little bit. Uh, make sure everyone can read that. Uh, and the cognitive service, every time there's a new piece of mail that arrives, in a specific folder, in this case it's called Mail Reader 2020, uh, it grabs all of the attachments in that folder. Uh, for each attachment, it creates a blob entry. And the reason why I do that is you need some kind of physical location or virtual location to store the image so that cognitive services can find it and read it. So the trigger here is, uh, number one, it goes into a folder in your mail. Uh, that folder then triggers another task, which grabs all the attachments and puts them into storage. Each time a new attachment goes into blob storage, that triggers a cognitive services task, uh, and that cognitive services task uh, gets the blob content. It processes each image if it's a JPEG image. Some of the attachments that they have in the uh, mail that comes in are not JPEG images, and Cognitive Services doesn't know what to do with them, and the uh, Logic Apps uh, component that I'm using breaks when you do that. So I always make sure there's a JPEG image. And then for each JPEG image, I use the Optical Character Recognition pre-built model, uh, OCR to JSON, and the OCR to JSON will convert it to a, um, to a JSON file. It doesn't always work, you, you saw those, um, those images that I showed you. But basically, it goes through each one of those images. And when it is able to scan and read something, it produces JSON. And then I have a create or update document for Cosmos DB task. That Cosmos DB task uh, puts the image values that I was able to pull from the JSON uh, into a Cosmos DB item. Uh, 
in Cosmos DB. Uh, we use a partition value of uh, JPEG, so it just uses the media type, so there's always the same. Uh, when you use Cosmos DB, uh, you do need a, uh, two things. You need a ID. In this case, I use the blob storage identifier for my ID. And the reason I do that is that later on, you can go back and check programmatically what the source of that image is and maybe display the image alongside the text. Um, so that's kind of handy. Uh, then I use a partition key value. It's just all the same. It's just JPEG uh, because you do need some kind of partition key value. So if we look in the Cosmos DB, this is basically what one of the images look like. Uh, there's an E tag, the attachment size, the location. That's the uh, actual place where you find it programmatically in the storage. Um, then there's a name and a few other things. Then you get down here and it actually shows you some of the text that it's getting from Azure. And I've got it broken down by uh, different spaces or different locations in the envelope. You know, in general, mail is pretty standardized. You have up in the top left where it's coming from and then in the bottom right, uh, the actual destination. So I'm only interested in the top left because the bottom right is generally just me. Uh, <laughs> but this is an actual mail that came in. Uh, and it just tells you a little bit about the text. And then you can process that and do whatever you want with it after that. So that's basically the basics. Uh, one other thing I wanted to tell you about the uh, this. Now, I could have just used the Outlook um, as the source for reading the cognitive services. The reason I put it into storage is it's helpful later to refer to the actual image related to the text. Plus, it's for security. Um, I've got this set up to work with uh, Azure, to connect between Azure services. Outlook is not considered part of those services. So then I would have to authenticate with my Outlook and give this app more access to my Outlook than I want to. So the easiest way to do it was just reach out to Outlook, get the attachments, put them in storage, and then everything is inside Azure after that. And I can play around and manipulate that without having to worry about any extra authentication. All right, so that in a nutshell is uh, what I've got. As I mentioned before, if you go to aka.ms slash Cosmos Mail Reader, um, you can find more details. And I'll be around for questions as well. So I went real quick through that. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah. Uh, logic apps and computer vision. Uh, you can get all the details on how I actually built that. So I'll be around for questions after. Um, but yeah, thanks.